Hey, it's Joe Glines. In this video with AutoHotKey in Excel, I'm going to demonstrate a new function I just wrote. Um, it's for finding um, a position of something and returning where that is. So let's say, for, first off, you can actually find nothing, so finding a blank cell. Um, so let's start off. It's in my function library, so I can start typing here. I think it's find, yeah, find and return position. Um, if you've recently downloaded my function library, um, I'll, I'll need to upload this because it's brand new, but um, I should do it later today at some point. So, uh, of course, pass the uh, pointer to the Excel object. And then here's where you can give it a range. If you don't give it a range, it'll use the used range, which um, in this case, actually, that's fine. So I'm going to skip that parameter. Um, what you're searching for. So I'm going to search for, let's say it's a blank. So actually, the default is blank. Um, now, this is if I want the absolute position or if I want the um just the regular without the dollar signs around it so i want the absolute position which is just leaving it default um, and the instance is do i want the first time i find it the second time the third time and whatever um to keep it simple we'll just leave that blank also so um, basically i don't think i need to add that comma yeah because that's too much so i'm gonna save it oh and you know what i need to do is let's i was gonna throw a message box here but um let's say location equals we'll throw it in a variable and then Then we'll throw it up. So when I save it, reload and run. Oh, look. Okay. I think it's just because I, I can't have when they're all blanks, um, I can't have the commas in there. Yeah. So A5, notice, so, so it used the whole range, which is just A1 down to this F10, and it found that, um, which is great. So now let's let's go back and add some of the parameters. So let's we'll leave the default there. We'll still search for nothing absolute. Let's change that to a one just so you can see what that is. And the instance, let's leave that a one for now. So save, reload, run. And notice it leaves the dollar signs around each one. I didn't customize it to say rows or columns. Um, you can, of course, tweak it to do that, but that seemed like a bit much to me. Um, so which one am I on here? That's the instance. Oh, let's change it to two. And now notice when I reload and run it, now it's in B5, right? So it's I think Excel, when it searches, it starts here and, and goes across and keeps going down left to right. Um, let's let's get rid of this absolute. I don't like the dollar signs in there. So now it's B5, and if, of course I change it to three. Then it's C5. Um, let's change the search to say we're looking for cool. Now that's C3 because I was still asking for the third instance. You know, I don't think, I think it'll be case insensitive. Um, yeah, so the case doesn't, I didn't build that into it. It's just, you know, you can always add back to it, right? Um, but this should be a pretty easy way. If we want to specify only look in a certain range, let's say we wanted A4 to A8. Um, and we're going to look, oh, actually, this is a good one. So between A4 to A8, there are no cool. So when I save, reload, and run it, um, it's going to say it, it didn't find it, right? So it doesn't return back a location. Um, but if I wanted, let's see, what's a good example of that? Well, you can just, I think you get it, right? You can customize the range where you want, but um, here's how you can find um you know, easily like a blank row, if that's what you're trying to do, um, or find a certain text value, looking at a certain thing, and need to make some adjustments from that. So, hope that helps. Cheers.